Peace and blessings, fam. I'm your brother in the struggle. I believe. And today we're going to decipher and decipher how to answer your own prayers. I would like to share with y'all something from our beloved sister, Bernstein Sharif Muhammad, the former secretary of Master Far Muhammad, the founder of the Nation of Islam, who we believe to be the Supreme Law of God in person. She uh, published a little booklet that's beautiful, but um, it's a portion in here I would like for y'all. Let me just show you a quick picture of her. So that's the goddess right there, queen of civilization, mother of civilization, MGT, Muslim girl training, pioneer, one of our she rules. She says in uh, her booklet about something about prayer and what Master Muhammad was teaching back in the early 1930s. All right. First, let me give you some background about her. She says, it was in October of 1932 when my parents brought me to the Temple of Islam loca located over the Castle Theater at 3408 Hastings Street in Detroit, Michigan. Some of her duties included, I'm quoting her, I graded letters which everyone had to write for a holy name, helped those who could hardly write by taking their hand and guiding it, giving them writing exercises until they could write on their own. I set up the woman's class, MGT and GCC, was captain over it and advanced to instructor over it by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad to train and instruct other captains. Temple secretary advanced to instructor by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad to train others in the position. In most positions, I was the first and became instructor over them. Most of the time, I held two positions at the same time. So the sister, like any grassroots organization, she was on the ground floor. Now I mean, a thankless job in the struggle. She had the uphill battle. Now I mean, especially members back in the 30s, um, the mentality of white men and black men, white women and black women, our people as a whole. Now I mean, so she had uh, a struggle. Now I mean, and she's sacrificed a lot to put us in the position we're in today. Now, here's her concept of prayer. When she prayed, this is what she was taught by Master Farah Muhammad back in 1932, Messenger Elijah Muhammad. She says, and I quote, He, meaning Master Farah Muhammad, wrote me a line on the bottom of a problem he sent to be typed. And this is what it says. Always reread what you type. Don't, don't, don't close your eyes and trust in God. Don't close your eyes and trust in God. This is what Masfar Muhammad said. Now, he taught us, now he, meaning Masfar Muhammad in 1932, now he taught us, not her, us, the FOI and MGT or the Nation of Islam. He now, he taught us that the black people, not just the black man, not just the black man. The black man is the original man, the Asiatic black man, the maker, the owner, the cream, the planet, earth, God of the universe. The black woman is the womb of man. She did come from the original man. So man was first. But as far as the feminine principle, which is found in everything in life in the universe, the black woman is that original woman, mother nature, father of law, the balance. Now he taught us that the black people were the God. So when I being the sister Bernstein. So when I would say my prayers, I shut my eyes and envision that great mass of people as God. Allah had to tell him how I was praying, although he told me that which was true. So here she pictured the people in her mind's eye or in her consciousness, that third eye when she made her prayers. And the messenger teaches us the exact same thing 
refer to Our Savior Has Arrived in 1974, pages 26, page 56, and so forth and so on. He teaches us that a law is all of us. There is no mystery God. Think about it.